Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas for Stream Tech. Today, I've got a quick tip for you about a low cost power over ethernet adapter. Power over ethernet is a great way to both power your devices and also to get data from them over one cable. Now, power over ethernet is built into many devices, but some of them don't have a big ethernet port, they just have USB-C. So how do you get ethernet into a device that just has USB-C. Well, if you have an OBSBOT, OBSBOT makes this little adapter that takes power over Ethernet in or external power and then puts it onto USB-C. The problem with most of these adapters is that they're kind of pricey. But I have this little adapter here from Google, no less, and it takes Ethernet in and power and puts it on USB-C. So I have this adapter right here Got the little G, very subtle on top. Ethernet on here, but it does not have indicator lights on here. So there's not really an indicator on the device itself that says your Ethernet is connected properly, but it also has power here. So unlike a dedicated power over Ethernet adapter where you have to supply a switch that has power over Ethernet, this can be applied per device using existing networking. So if you have an, a router or a switch or a hub that is already not power over ethernet, the fact that this has the power right here and it injects the power over the cable to power your device and it also provides the data in one unit, which is really handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide some power to this like this. And then I also have some ethernet and I'm going to plug that in here so you can see again there's no indicator lights on this that would indicate that it, it is connected and does see a switch or something like that you just have to trust it I guess but then for this demonstration I'm going to use a Mevo start and I'm going to plug it in on the back here. There's your USB-C. Now it has built in Wi-Fi, but sometimes Wi-Fi is not reliable because you could have lots of RF interference and things like that. And keeping things on a wire can really help ensure that you have good stable video. So we're going to plug this in here. You can see it's providing power. So it's immediately starting to charge the battery. I'm going to turn it on. There we go. It's booting up. Now for doing various tasks with apps, I have an Android tablet here and I am going to call up my Mevo app, which is going to connect to my wireless network on which this device is connected right now. And it says it's on my Google Wi-Fi in the office, but it also says Ethernet is available. Tap to enable. So I'm going to tap that to enable it. It's going to use Bluetooth to talk to the device and then it's going to switch it to Ethernet and then when that is done, it now says ethernet over here. So this way, if you need to make sure that you've got a reliable connection to your, to your cameras and you don't have to deal with any sort of RF issues, putting them on a wire, make sure that you can get that NDI because you can see that I've got, in, uh, it's an NDI mode. And right here, you can switch between Wi-Fi and Ethernet on the device. So I can stream via Wi-Fi, but I am on Ethernet. So let me connect to my Mevo. And then you will see This is my Mevo here. That's my wall of toys. This is me. And you can see that I am getting a nice solid feed over the USB-C cable, which is also passing data to my Mevo start. So if you are in a situation where Wi-Fi isn't the most reliable because of RF interference and you need the reliability of a Ethernet connection, you can use this adapter, which is very cost effective compared to bespoke adapters to enable Ethernet to your device as well as power. And you don't have to buy a power over Ethernet switch.
My name is Anthony Barocas for Stream Tech. Thanks for watching.